Hey everyone, welcome. Hope you're smelling great. I am Ify and today I will be hosting another episode of Amazing Cheap Fragrances. I thought it's about the time to do another one, but this time is going to be by the house of Flavia. Now most of you who have followed my previous videos already know about Flavia, but for the newcomers on my channel, all you have to know is that if you're interested in Armaf perfumes, you should also look into Flavia perfumes because both of these brands are owned by the same company called Sterling Perfumes. Regarding this brand Flavia, there are good things and bad things about it. Which aspects do you want me to present first? The bad things? Okay, I'll start with the bad things. You might end up with the same juice that we have found in a previous Armaf perfume. That is one thing, one bad thing. The next bad thing is that even though they are all labeled as Eau de Parfum, EDP, not all of them last as long as the concentration is supposed to last. Meaning that I've seen Armaf EDTs last longer than Flavia EDPs. Now the good things, some of them really last a lot, a lot. And some of them are really, really hidden gems. Meaning that they have niche quality, they perform like crazy, the bottles look great, they have all it takes for a fragrance to cost over $100 at least. So let's get started with the list. I'm gonna start with a fragrance which I knew what I'm going to get when I blind bought this. I checked the notes, some fellow reviewers advised me about it and I just wanted to see if it's a better clone of Bleu de Chanel. I'm talking about Flavia Pegasus. Now this one, as I said, it's a clone of Bleu de Chanel, but is it better than the previous Armaf Bleu de Chanel clones? It is better than Tag Him, that's for sure, but it is not better than Enchanted Trend, for example. That one was EDT, this one is EDP, but they both last the same. They both have magnetic caps on the bottles. So in the end, it's just a matter of price and bottle quality, because I have to also admit that I was a bit disappointed regarding the bottle itself, because I was expecting to be of a higher quality, but the logo, the Pegasus here on the logo is of a very, very poor quality. So is Flavia Pegasus worth buying? Well, if you do come across it and you don't own another Bleu de Chanel clone and if you do find it at a great price, then yeah, why not? Guys, I will also be presenting Flavia for women because there aren't so many Flavia fragrances in general. So I'm just missing a couple of them to get the whole collection. So that's why I'm putting together the men and women fragrances in the same video. So this next one is Flavia Icon. Not Icon Wood, like the men's version, which will follow up shortly, but just Icon. It is a female version, yes, and you will be very pleased to hear that this one is a 98% clone, very similar clone to Guerlain Mont Guerlain. I really like the bottle, it's pretty solid, it doesn't have flaws like we've seen, now to me this one smells like sweet rose with a bit of bergamot on top. It's definitely a very loud note in here that's screaming sweetness. And I can't tell you for sure what is it because if you look at the notes you will see that there is no rose in this one. And I'm pretty sure that the notes are wrong. And I'm going to tell you immediately why. I'm going to show you another Flavia fragrance. I'm going to show you the notes and I'm going to tell you why the notes are not the right notes for that specific fragrance. But Flavia Icon, pour femme, it is a very good deal. If you do like Mont Guerlain, you should definitely buy this one instead. It is more, more affordable and it lasts the same amount of time, well past eight hours because they are so sweet, they are so powerful, they are EDP. This one is EDP in the right amount of concentration. Okay, the next fragrance is one that I've shown in a couple of videos. It is Flavia Mega Man. This one, I reviewed it. This one is in my top fragrances for this winter. It is very strong, like beastly strong. 
It is quite similar to 24 by Sand Story, but not when you smell them up close, just in the air. Quite a feminine fragrance, but overall, it smells to me like a fruit floral salad. And the fruity floral that lasts a lot during winter, it's really impressive. It really got me impressed. You should try it, maybe it works for you also. But for me, I'm going to tell this story again, guys. When I first sprayed it, it was very cold outside, took out my winter jacket and the fragrance pierced through the winter jacket and I could feel it while walking to wherever I had to go. So if I presented the man's version of Flavia Mega, let's present also the Flavia Mega Woman. This one unfortunately is the same as another Armoff juice for women, which I happen to own. I'm talking about this one. Armoff Vanity Femme Essence, which both are clones of Burberry Brit Sheer, meaning that they are a fresh fragrance with a prominent note of peach. It's not very special, it's a bit generic to me. It has a bit of that Dolce & Gabbana vibe, but does that mean that this is a bad fragrance? No. It is a good fragrance. If you like Burberry Brit Sheer, you should definitely check this one or the Armoff one, depends on which one you find more affordable and easier. The performance is both the same, meaning that this one is EDP, this one is EDT and they both last the same. As I said, some Flavia fragrances, even though they are EDP, they don't last more than a EDT. Okay, enough with the disappointing Flavia fragrances. Let's reveal some real good Flavia fragrances, right? guys? This fragrance right here is the reason why I keep buying Sterling Perfumes fragrances. You know what's the thing with Sterling Perfumes? If you blind buy a couple of their fragrances, the only time that you're going to get a miss is when you're going to get the same juice in two different bottles. Other than that, every time is going to be a hit with the chance that one of them is a real hidden gem. This one right here is a true gem. Is it worth buying all Flavia fragrances for men just to get a fragrance like this? Absolutely. As I said, the rest of them are great, but this one is simply phenomenal. This one right here is also one of those hidden gems. This one is new to me, that's why I'm more hyped up about this one. I also have to say that this is the best Sterling perfume bottle that I've seen so far, that I've felt so far. Let me show you something really cool. Okay, magnetic cap, okay? Let me show you the strength of this magnetic cap. Take a look at this. Hmm? What about this? Also, no chrome around the sprayer, which you obviously know if you own Armour fragrances that the chrome around the sprayer is wearing off after a while. The way this one sprays is also very good but the way it smells is wow just wow guys wow and it is a clone but it is better than the original it is about 86 similar to Carolina Herrera 212 VIP Black now why is it better? I'm going to tell you 212 VIP Black it's like a poor quality soda you know that kind of soda, you can already tell that it's going to be bad just by smelling it. This one, instead, smells like a tropical tea. So guys, if you like fragrances that have that clubbing vibe, you know, like 212 VIP, like 1 million, like Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male, this right here, guys, is a serious gem. And if you watched my previous videos, you know that I'm very serious when describing this kind of fragrances. I mean, I'm not just praising fragrances just for you to buy them and then comment that it's just a crap. No guys, you know that I'm trustworthy and you know that when I say that it is a good fragrance, it is a good fragrance, but this one is just simply, I can't even describe it. It's just buy it and check it for yourselves. Oh yeah, I almost forgot regarding this fragrance. If you check the notes, you know what you're going to find? You're going to find the notes for this one. Derby Clubhouse Gold. 
which is a clone of Mont Blanc Legend. Now, when I bought the fragrance, I said, yeah, okay, I'm going to get another Mont Blanc Legend clone, but maybe it's going to be a longer lasting one. But what I got instead, the juice inside this bottle, totally worth it. And this, unfortunately, is very bad to us, the buyers, because we're getting confused regarding the notes. I am going to try to do my best to reveal all these duplicates of Sterling perfumes, but if I happen to miss some of them, then it's up to you to let everyone know that, hey, there are some other duplicates that you guys weren't aware of. Next one, guys, I'm not going to talk too much about it because it's also a fragrance that I've been showing in my videos. Also one in my winter list, it is Flavia Icon Oud. This one is obviously an Oud based fragrance, but with a tamed down Oud, you know, the one that is very pleasant. And if you do like Oud, you would definitely want to have it in your fragrance. It is a cardamom based fragrance and also a myrrh and cinnamon based fragrance. What you get here basically is a very winter specific fragrance that smells like Christmas, it's very manly, very sophisticated and very pleasant to wear. Also, as I've said in my previous video, this one is very similar to Armoff Niche Black Onyx. So yeah, I'm still maintaining that opinion that they are very similar. If you have smelled them both, leave a comment below and do deny that or confirm it if you do feel the same about this and Niche Black Onyx. The last Flavia fragrance guy is probably my biggest disappointment and not because it is the same of another juice that I currently own. It is the same as another Armoff juice, but one which I don't own, it is the same as Armoff Le Parfait. Maybe it has a bit of a tweak, you know, like Armoff does. They put different little tweaks in their fragrances just to have a reason to put the juice in a different bottle, but trust me, it's not that big of a difference. I mean, you really, really have to pay attention to the notes to get the difference. So to me, this is very similar to Le Parfait by Armoff. The difference is this one starts with a more prominent black current note. You know, like the one in Trebon, Le Parfait, for me, it also starts with Trebon, but this one has a more prominent black current note, the metallic one that also Trebon has. So you're probably wondering now, okay, so why is it a disappointment? You got Le Parfait in a different bottle. Well, the disappointment is First, I'm not such a big fan of the fragrance. I mean, I understand the hype, but I'm not getting it. I mean, okay, it's very interesting if you don't own anything from our moth because you're getting quite a couple of fragrances in just one bottle. I'm not getting any Aventus. I mean, I do get a vibe of Aventus, but that's from Trebon, as you know, and if you do own it, you know that it's supposed to be a clone of Aventus in the dry down, and yeah. It does smell pretty similar, so that's why I think everyone is getting that Aventus vibe. I don't think it has Club de Nuit Intense Man in it. The Aventus vibe is very, very low in this fragrance. The Green Irish Tweed instead, yeah, I think it's the most prominent clone in this mixture of clones of a fragrance. And I'm also getting another fragrance, another Armoff or another designer fragrance in here. And I'm talking about this one, Armoff Vitesse, which is a clone of Givenchy Gentleman only. So yeah, this one has leather, but I'm not getting the leather from Aventus. I'm getting the leather from this one, from the clone of Givenchy Gentleman only, which is a very spicy leather. So yeah, this fragrance, a combination of three Armoff fragrances, Trebon, Trenui, and Vitesse. Okay guys, so, it's still not enough to say that it's a big disappointment, right? Well, this fragrance only lasts on me for about three to four hours. What the hell, guys? I mean, come on, really? Eau du Parfum? Flavia Luxuria, that's the name. It doesn't look so luxurious when you hold it in hand. I mean, yeah, when on the website when I ordered it, it looked very fancy, but now that I'm feeling it and looking at it, this one again, 
The printing here, it's a very, very poor quality. The bottle, the shape almost reminds me of the Trenui bottles, the triangle of curses. But this one, at least it can be used. It's a good smell, it's a good smell, but three, four hours. And you know what else? You know why else I'm saying that this is very similar to Le Parfait? Not because to me it's almost identical in smell, but the performance is almost the same. I mean, I'm not the only one saying that it lasts for 3-4 hours. Even though I've tested it side by side, a fellow of mine from Romania just bought Le Parfait and he said, man, it lasts just 3-4 hours. That's what he said. I'm not joking. So Danny, if you're watching this, please confirm it by leaving a comment below. So I don't know how others are getting double the amount of longevity because I can't get past those 3-4 hours, man. I wish I did, but I'm not. And you know how I am with performance. Always talking about fragrances lasting for more than 8 hours. Well, here it is guys. The fragrance that is EDP and doesn't last more than 4 hours on my skin. Guys, my Sterling Perfumes journey is almost over. I mean, I am planning to purchase a couple of more Hermoths and Flavia, of course. But I'm not going to stick with Sterling Perfumes so much longer i'm going to try to just take away my attention and move it towards the other oriental houses until the next video guys wait a moment wait a moment i'm going to use this one of course until the next video guys keep smelling